start the 45th annual Los Salinas Fiesta on the grounds of the Salinas Complex in Lower St. Bernard Parish. We have a beautiful day, lots of families out here enjoying the weather, enjoying the culture where they can learn a lot about the Salinas community, see some dancers, see some Canary Island people, and most importantly, try out some really good food. I'm here with Bill Hyland, our parish historian and site manager of the Salinas Complex. Bill, this is a big event for you. Tell me about it. Well, of course, it's the largest event of the year. It's the principal fundraiser of Los Isleños Heritage and Cultural Society, which supports the owner of the property, St. Bernard Parish government, in the maintenance, development, and uh, planning for the, all of the facility. So it's a great, great opportunity this year. We're really so fortunate to have a, a group from the island of Fuerteventura. It's called Masorata, uh, and they're just wonderful. Uh, Fuerteventura was the first island conquered by Iberians in 1402. And of course, the Canaries are so important in the history of not only Spain, but the world, because the Canaries became the gateway of Europe to the Americas so that uh, I, I can't say just how pivotal the role is that the Canary Island people occupied. And of course, as we know, they founded St. Bernard Parish in 1779. It's the best showcase you can imagine for the heritage. And then it's a, an interesting way that we can go ahead and combine and juxtapose the traditional culture with modern day culture. And then of course, perhaps most importantly, since we are Louisianians, we have wonderful Spanish food. We have croquetas, empanadas, which in English are called meat pies, uh, ropa vieja, which is a magnificent stewed pork roast. Uh, we have arroz con pollo, chicken with, with uh, rice. We have homemade flan. Uh, you name it, we have it. We're here with Ben Crow, president of the Salino Society. And tell me a little bit about the society, what you guys do and preserving the history of the Salinos here in St. Bernard Parish. Today we're here at our annual fiesta. This is the 45th annual fiesta we've held. And we all about preserving the culture and history and so here are the Spanish Los Salinos people who settled here in 1778, 1783. Every year we bring Canary Island people here uh, we bring people each year a different from a different island, like Tenerife, or Grand Canary, and so forth. And it's kind of a cultural exchange. So, but yeah, we want to have them here as to see that you know we're still uh, preserving that history and, and who they are and who we were, and and try to share that with the people. We're here at one of the more popular booths at the Salinas Festival, the Oyster Booth, where we got grilled oysters, raw oysters, and Louis Pomez has been making these for 37 years. Tell me about this booth. Well, it starts with our local commercial fishermen. They, uh, I mean, oysters is something that you actually have to plant and then go out and harvest them a couple of years later. So it, it, it's a lot these guys put into to making sure that we get oysters every year. Um, the boats went out yesterday. They, they brought us in 130 mini sacks. Uh, and all of these oysters are from Louisiana, they're all from our local commercial fishermen. Once they get them to us, and we bring them over here, we shuck them, we, we do half of them, about 50% raw, and then we do the other 50% on our grill with the grilled oysters. It's a sauce, we make our own sauce here at the Islanos. We do about 130, 135 sacks each year. I'm here with Andreas, who's making one of the more traditional dishes that you see in Spain in the Canary Islands. It's a Spanish omelet, also called tortilla española. And tell me what goes into this dish. Well, they potatoes, um, onions, bell pepper, chorizo, salt, a little pinch of garlic, and eggs. Some people you can put shrimps or anything. You don't have to be, don't have to be chorizo. It's typical in Spain for tapas. And the eggs go in at the end? Yes. When the potatoes are soft, you put the eggs. And just you wait like two minutes or something and turn the flipper over.
And this is the final product, the Tortilla Española. Good stuff.